All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all the praise, honor, and glory. Praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, is in the name of Raka Kodash as the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's living in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude of women, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth. And in sincerity, Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. From the, also from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And <clears throat> title of this video, Lord Willem. Is going to be, um, you know, prophecy is guaranteed, all right, because that's really that one thing, you know, that's that is for sure guaranteed, man, you know. So, let me just get right into it. This is uh, second Ezra chapter 15, starting at verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So the Lord is uh, is using his prophets, you know, to to uh, speak to the, to his people, which are the Israelites, so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, the words of prophecy. All right. So we're telling people that famine is coming. Jacob's trouble. All right. Yahweh Shai is returning. This ignorant, whose world ignorant calls Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shai is returning, man. OK. The uh, MOTB, uh, which is the. Uh, the karagma, the sea, the sea hip. All right, we're telling you people prophecy, man. All right, it says and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, man. Okay, so a lot of things, you know, we can't count on in this world, man. All right, you know, to a certain extent, you know, you you, you can't count on money can't count on your job okay you can't count on certain people all right but one thing you can't count on you can count on prophecy man all right you can bet on prophecy man all right 100 percent is going to these prophecies are going to come true all right because scripture says uh and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true so you can bet all your money that these prophecies are going to come to pass, man. All right. You know, it says, fear not. Verse three, fear not the imaginations against them that uh, against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So you're going to have people that's going to doubt these prophecies are going to come. OK, but they can doubt. They can put us as, put up as much money as they want that these prophecies won't come to pass, man. 100% guaranteed that they're going to lose. All right? Because the Most High, he's not a liar. All right? Everything that he says is going to come is going to come to pass. All right? The scripture says uh, in Isaiah, uh, my word shall not go out void. Okay? So the words Lord uh the Lord's words, they don't go out void, man. They are going to come to pass. It says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, so if you don't if you don't believe, all right, if you know, if you're not putting all your eggs, all your chips in this basket, man, that the Lord's gonna return, it's okay, man. You're gonna die in your unfaithfulness, man. And let me get that one in uh, Isaiah. Isaiah fifty five verse eleven. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. It says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it. All right, so let me read that again. It says, so shall my word be. Be that Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. 
it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. All right, so he, the words of the Lord is going to come to pass, man. All right, it shall accomplish that which Yahweh Shemiahushai please, man. All right, and it says it shall prosper. So it's, these words are going; these words are going to come to pass, man. So there's going to be a famine in in uh, in America, man. There's going to be uh, World War Three. Thermonuclear missiles is going to hit America. All right, let me get that one. The thermonuclear missiles, uh, Revelation nine. In verse 60, it says, And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand, and I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jathed and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. So those are the thermonuclear missiles, man. Right, being being described in a vision, you know, to the best of uh, John's ability at that time, man. All right, but now the Lord has given us the clear vision, right? So we understand these things, man. All right, these are the thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, along with the warheads, man. Okay, it said two hundred thousand, thousand, man. All right. You know, so that's a, that's that's millions, man. And in verse eighteen it says, "By these three was the third part of men killed." All right, and and there's three classifications of men: the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of the wicked. All right, it says, "By these were the three it says by these three was the third part of men killed all right that's being the, uh, the sons of the wicked uh by fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths you see so the lord is going to destroy america man all right scripture says the elements shall melt with a uh, fervent heat man okay so america is going to burn that's the, that's uh that, that's prophecy man all right, you, you 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 can go to the bank on that man. You can, you can bank on that man. You can bank that America is gonna be destroyed, man. All right, when that, all things else fail, man, you, you 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 can definitely bet on prophecy, man. You can anything that the Lord say is gonna come to pass, man. This Romans three and three it says, "For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief?" Make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. So it doesn't matter if people doubt. It's still going to come to pass, man. You're gonna just going to die. and you, You're just going to die doubting, man. Die in your unfaithfulness, man. It says, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. So Yahweh Bashim Shah is true, man. Faithful and true. And all these, these unbelievers are just liars, man. It says, as it, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. All right, so let every man be a liar, but, but let Yahweh Shai be true, man. All right, the words of the Lord are pure. This is uh, Proverbs 30. Proverbs 30 and 5 says, Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. All right. So every word of the Most of the Lord is pure, man. All right. Tahar, pure. All right. No flaws, no errors. It's thorough. And verse 6 it says, Add thou not unto his word, lest he reprove thee. And thou be found a liar. So if you're not bringing this correct doctrine, man, all right, then you are a liar, man. If you're not putting your chips on these prophecies, man, all right, then you're adding to this. Uh, then you're you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be added to the plagues as that's written in this book, man. 
And I really want to get this scripture here. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32, starting at the top. It says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. You know, so that's what the word of the Lord is doing, man. All right, the word of the Lord is 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 covering this earth, man. Just as rain and and dew cover the ground, man. That's that's how this word is being spread out to this earth, man, via the prophets. Everybody know about this truth, man. Okay, everybody know, man. The Lord is using celebrities. The Lord is using damn near everybody at this point, man, pushing out this truth. Everybody know what's what's going on with Kanye West right now, man. We are the Lord's people, man. And with all the distractions going on, the sports, you know, all the bread and circus. In the midst of this, you know, you got prophecy happening every day, man. And you can bank on these prophecies, man. One of these days, uh, shit is going to shut down, man. And these prophecies going to be, uh, they already popping like popcorn, man. World War Three is brewing up. A nuclear war is finna happen, man. But in the midst of this bread and circus, man, you can easily be caught up. That's why you got to stay watching, man. Uh, to be the Lord's will, I'm going to close with this. Um, it was one of one that I wanted in Revelations. Uh, let me see. God. It's Revelations chapter. Chapter 3, starting at verse 2. It says, uh, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before the Most High. <coughs> Remember, therefore, how. It says, Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore. Thou shalt not watch. I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt know that, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be on that. Uh, we gotta be in the spirit of watching, man. All right, because we never know the hour, you know, when your hour shot is gonna return. And it was another one that I wanted here. Yeah, I think it was in the Gospels that I was thinking of. Let me get a few more on watch. First uh, Peter four seven says, "But the end of all things is at hand." All right, and that's that's the stage that we're at now. We're at the end of all things, man. It's at hand. It says, "Be ye therefore sober, circumspect, aware of the surroundings, and watch unto prayer, man." All right, so I gotta be. We gotta be in the spirit of watching, and the spirit of praying. First Thessalonians five and six. Therefore, let us not sleep. As do others, but let us watch and be sober. All right, we got to watch and be sober, be vigilant, man. 
all right watching on these prophecies all right because things is things is finna pop off man all right we're finna be entering into the year 2023 man man just let just ponder on that man all right i'm gonna end it off with this matthew 24 and 42 watch therefore for ye know not what hour your lord doeth come all right say hey no man knoweth the hour uh or the day man all right not the angels in heaven not a, not even Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so we got to be in that spirit of watching. We measure the time diligently, all right, through prophecy. Prophecy is very important, man. Prophecy will never fail. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to give praise. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha. Kodash, that honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom and the Baba Ba Shalom.